For decades, these churches have been home to legions of lost souls seeking some kind of spiritual identity, an identity that has eluded them for most of their lives. Tonight, hindsight will take you behind the scenes of the black church and the lives of its believers. And you may not believe what you see. We'll be right back after this. So the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing, with everlasting joy on their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. I, even I... He's got hold of us both, man. Well, we could have him killed. We need to talk. Bro, I'm not going to have this conversation with you in the middle of Dr. Cannon's sermon. Yes, you are. You realize this week marks our 15th year in these same two chairs? 15. It's time for us to make our move, man. Patience has never been one of your virtues. We're, we're youth ministers. Youth ministers. Look at our wives. I mean, how much longer do they expect us to be patient? Barely making ends meet. I know he can't hear us. Can you for once just have a little faith in God? I can't believe you just said that to me. What's the last time they let us preach? Excuse me. Uh. No, you know I don't preach. One of your boy, come on here, take over. Come on, you come on. I'm taking the doctor to the room. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. All right, you go ahead. No, you go. No, come on, man. Would you just preach, please? We'll both preach. You first. Man, would you go and take the mic? Man, it's just time, all right? We're ready. We're ready, LC. All right, we can do this. Did you see how well we did today? You know what? He's right, Lawrence. You guys added some much-needed life in that church this morning. Look, we didn't go to Bible school for six years so we can sit in the pulpit and watch Dr. Cannon put people to sleep. You know you, people can hear you, right? Can we just eat? $22,000 a year law. Come on, man. Seriously, it's time. It's time. Dr. Cannon will retire soon, at some point. And why would he retire? He's raking it in. No, it's just not right. I mean, look at the time and energy you two put into the church and the youth ministries. Yeah, yeah, she's right. She's making a really good point. You guys really have good... What's wrong with you? Good. Look, this is not the time or place to do this. I'll see. Okay. It's never the right time for you, Law. Do you remember the plan? I know, but I'm sure you're going to remind me. When we graduated from Divinity Southern, we agreed we'd give ourselves five years at this church, and if we didn't move up, we'd start our own church. It's been 15 years, Law. 15 years? You open it with what, Roland? It costs money to open a church. Do you have it? Do you? You? It says in James 1, 3, 4, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. Verse 4 states, but let patience have its perfect work. Amen. 
that you will be complete, lacking nothing, okay? Well, it says in James chapter 2, verse 17, faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Patience holds us until we receive what we're believing in God for. You got any more? No. I'm tapped out. <laughs> Good, because I'm tapped out, too. <laughs> you make me sick. I'm out of here, man. Come on. Where are you going? Where are you going? You not staying for dessert? Oh. No, man. The game starts in about 30 minutes, man. Come on, guys. Right. Well, I'm having desserts. Right. Well, got this? Yeah. 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 Okay. Bye, hon. I'll see you, yeah. sweetie. All right. Okay. See you, sis. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just want to go to the ladies' room, okay? I'll... Why would you put me on the spot like that? What? Lawrence, you even said yourself it's time to leave. I have. But I don't want Roland to dictate my career moves. And I don't like it when you get in the middle of our debates. You know, it makes me uncomfortable. Uncomfortable? He's best friend. Sandra, just stop co-signing for him. All right? When it's time for us to leave, it will be right. OK. Why do you have to wait for him? You are ready. You think I was as good as LC? You were better. It's just that the church always seems to be more receptive to him. That's because he goes over the top. I mean, I mean, like, it, it sounds good, but I have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> You're ready. I think it's time to cash in on Dad's trust fund and open a church. LC wants to come along, so be it. And if not, it wasn't meant to be. That is a minister Roland A. Braxton I know. Kiss me. So the Lord has asked me to start my own ministry. And I will take all the love and knowledge that Dr. Cannon has bestowed upon me and someday try, try to be a beacon of light in the community, shining as brightly as Dr. Cannon. Shirley and I will miss you. And we love you. God bless you. Good job. Good Thank you, Dr. Ken. Thank you. It seems like only yesterday since these two men came to this church to serve. Minister Case and Minister Rowland are like me and Bishop Redfern, tighter than that sweater that Brother Joey is wearing. <laughs> and so it is only fitting that we allow Minister Case to make the final comments. There comes a time when you have to let go and let God. I don't think y'all heard. There comes a time when you have to let go and let God. I don't think, amen, Walls. I don't think you heard me. There comes a time when you have to let go and let God. We gotta let go and say them all. Come on, give me something to say them all. We gotta let it. We gotta go. But whenever you're ready to come back, this house is yours. Yeah. All right. Amen. Amen. Okay. Seven, seven thirty. Seven thirty. Hey. <laughs> you were amazing. <laughs> well, that was an inappropriate hug, I think. 
She's just a young woman. Just... <laughs> oh, uh, these are my friends. Why did I think she was away at school? She was, but, you know, she's, um, she's been back for a while now. Okay. Well, I, um, I should go. You go. Now. Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday. My place? Yes. I'll meet you. I'll pick you up. Okay, okay sweet. Bye. Take care. Okay, bye. Hi, honey. You ready to go to lunch? Oh, hi, hey, Mitch. Hi, Mitch. Uh, How are you? I'm good, I'm good. We are just, we are really happy that you guys aren't leaving. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's go. Bye, Minister. Appreciate the word again. Thank you. Bye, ladies. <laughs> uh, goodbye, ladies. That was rude. How was that rude? Uh, can you just excuse us for a moment? Sure. All that, all that, all that. That really wasn't cool. <laughs> I really enjoyed that sermon today. Thank you, sir. Thank you very, very much. Thank, Thank you, brother. Yes. <laughs> you can talk. I praise God. Absolutely. Whenever you want, I'm ready. All right. Just, just give, give me a call whenever you're ready. When... Ten. Oh, eight. Eight. Yeah, I think this is it. This is it right here. Right here? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> Jesus. You sure? Uh, what do you wow. think? Well, I guess we gotta start somewhere. Dr. Cannon has been here for over 50 years. Even you have to admit, the man was real good. Minister Case, are you kidding? I mean, if anyone should be considered to take over the preaching duties of this church, I believe it should be me. <laughs> you know, technically, we don't even have to have you in this meeting, because you are not a member of this board. But just stop all this nonsense. Brother Wilkes, I'm ashamed of you. If Dr. Cannon knew what you were up to, he would be hurt. And if Red gets wind of this, you know what, no. I vote for no change. All in favor, raise your hand. Look, as you know, all proceedings of this board shall remain confidential. This meeting is adjourned. You people are standing in the way of progress. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here with us this morning. It's a beautiful day. Good to see all your beautiful faces. And uh, just very thankful that you all are here to worship with us and uh, do God's work. So, uh... And as I said before, these people were not friends of God. No, they weren't. They were, they were frauds. They were fakes. Mm. That's it. And that's it. They were false prophets. Thank you, thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh huh. Mm. Somebody say amen. 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 Tell, tell, tell them, Pastor. Tell them, Pastor. It's like God, some really of the people you work with. They, 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 they smile in your face, and all the time they're trying to take your place. They're the backstabbers. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Pastor, tell them. Tell them, Pastor. Tell them. Y'all don't hear me? Tell them, Pastor. Tell them. <laughs> tell them, Pastor. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them, Pastor. Tell them how we need to move in God's favor. Tell them. Tell them, Pastor. Tell them. Tell them, Pastor. Praise God. Change. 
change if you won't change. God wants you to live. You don't hear me today. God wants you to live, but he also wants you to give. God wants you to live, but he wants you to give. You got to give in order to live. You finish telling them. Come on, Pastor Roberts. You gotta tell them. 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 Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Tell them, Pastor Roberts. Finish telling them. Tell them, Pastor Roberts. You gotta tell them. Finish telling them. We can stop yelling in the hallway and just tell me what the problem is because I really don't know what the problem is. I want something done about this young man, and I want something done now. Look, 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 let's just stop it. Let me tell you something. If you ever do that to me again, I will hurt you. I swear I will. Come on, Wilson, I want him suspended or banished from this church. You need to get your ass kicked, you know that? Now, look, let's not overreact. Sit down, please. Again, brothers and sisters, I really don't understand what the problem is. What you did out there was disrespectful. That's the problem. Pastor Roberts, I just got caught up in the spirit of your sermon. Really? I just couldn't contain my enthusiasm. I mean, the Holy Spirit is a very powerful thing. We all know that. Wilkes, what are you going to do about this? Those people in that church have no idea that there is a problem. Suspension or banishment would send us very clear message that there is a problem. Mm -hmm. So let's just take those options off the table right now. Instead, why don't we just consider adding a very talented new voice into the mix? Oh, no, no, no. You mean allow him to preach? Yes. Oh, that would be crazy. Uh, out of the question. Crazy. He's a loose cannon. With all due respect, Doctor, you, you are losing them out there. Losing them. Hey, look, look, look here. If I was 30 years younger, me and you would go out in the back. 20, 20 years. Me and you. But you're not. You're not. I just wrote these sermons last night and wanted to get your opinion. Okay, I'll look them over. Okay, and um, I'll get your card. All right, thanks, John. Sister Roberts, you look absolutely breathtaking today. How are you doing? I'm fine. What's going on in there? Well, it appears that uh, Dr. Cannon and your husband and a few others are mad at me. What you did out there was pretty risky. You know how conservative this church is. You just made them all uncomfortable. And what about you? What about me? Do I make you uncomfortable? Not in the least. Then maybe we can get together for coffee sometime. You do know I'm a married woman. You do know that I like to drink coffee. I like it black. Lots of sugar with a little bit of cream.
Well, church, it's time to hear your testimonies. Well, uh, I've been coming to this church for about uh, 10 years now, Dr. Cannon. And um, there's no place me and my family would rather be. My problem is my six kids. Yeah, six kids can be a problem. <laughs> yes, yes. It's hard to get them to want to go to church. My kids say church is boring. Well, it's understandable. It's hard to get kids to sit still for a minute. Believe me, I know. <laughs> but they like it when Pastor Case preaches. They can relate. And frankly, so can I. Now, I'm open to change. The change is good, right? So if there's any possibility that he can uh, speak to us a little more. Well, thank you, Sister Jones. Uh, who's next? Brother Randy? Well, I agree with Sister Jones. Yeah. I, I, I'd like to hear a little bit more from Minister Case, too. sisters and family of the Greater First Baptist Church. I come to you anonymously today because what I have to say can seriously cause repercussions. Many of you tied your very last dollar not knowing how you're going to make it to the next paycheck. It's because of you is why I'm coming forth with this information. Some of our leaders of this church have been stealing money from this church for years. While you sleep in your one-bedroom apartment with five kids, just know that the money you have tied to this church is not going into the church. It is going into the two condos in the Bahamas purchased by Dr. Cannon and Bishop Redford. Is it time for a change at the Greater First Baptist Church? All right, listen, we need to make a decision. Now, I feel that Redfern and Cannon should step down immediately. I will not. Oh, what are you trying to do, Will? Huh? Do you or don't you have a condo in the Bahamas? Now, this information is easy to obtain. 
That property was a gift. It was sold to me by Reverend Hodges Church four years ago. So, Redford, did uh, Reverend Hodges gift you the adjacent unit? I'm not going to answer that. We don't need to answer any questions about our personal business matters. Why not answer if you've got nothing to hide, Dr. Cannon? You have units side by side? Deaconess Carter is ill today, so let us proceed. Now, I move that Bishop Redfern and Dr. Cannon be immediately banished from the church. Now, of course, they will have the right to file any grievances with the National Baptist Association. You don't have the power to do that. Well, I don't. But the board does. If we do this, who are we going to get to preach on such short notice? Mm -hmm. Excuse me? But I'll be taking over those duties. I don't know why I ain't putting You keep talking like this, the doctor's still in the room. Come on, Roberts. Now, don't nobody want to hear you preach, all right? Is that a fact, Parker? Don't let me start in on you. It says right here in this book, he who cast the first stone will not prosper in the valley of death. What in the hell are you? You see, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Parker, see, this guy can't you're preach. Really not Let's read, read the book, Parker. 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 Can we table who is going to preach until we vote on my proposal? Now, all those in favor of banishment, raise your hand. Gentlemen, majority rules. Please, you can gather here. <laughs> I see what you up to, Wilt. I, I see. I'm going to sue you and everyone in this room. We'll talk later. No. You be talking with my attorney. Let's go, Red. No, no, wait, wait, wait a minute. You know, we built this church. And we're just gonna walk out of here just like that, huh? Is that what you think? Talk to me. Huh? Red, let's go. No, let me go. Let me go, man. Fifty-two years we built this church. Fifty-two years of blood, sweat, and tears. You think we're just gonna walk out of here with our tail between our legs like that, huh? Listen, I'm sorry. That that we, think, I'm huh? sorry it had to end like this. No, 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 no. It's not the end. This is only the beginning. We will be back. Come on. I'll start working on my sermon for Sunday. All those in favor of Deacon Roberts conducting services on a temporary basis, raise your hand. On a temporary basis. How could you do that? I know you like me slim. That's 
Oh, I just need to get a little, a couple. I love you. Don't love you know me. that? I love you, and I don't want to lose no, 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 no. you. Love me. You love me more than you love yourself. You love me more than you love God. No, that no. is your problem, Cass. That's your problem. Get your no. fucking no. Clean up. It smell like vomit. Get in. Get in the bathtub. Get in the bathtub. That's all we're getting from the $45,000 trust? $7,000. How'd they come up with that number? Apparently, there's some mutual funds that were all tied up and not doing too well. And after the estate taxes and, I guess, handling and legal fees, that's all that's left. That's, this is only going to cover two months' rent for the church. That email has everybody rattled. Let's not talk church business. Let's talk about you. What about me? Are you happy? Why would you ask me something like that? Your body language with your husband gives away your unhappiness. We have our ups and downs. What about you and your wife? Cassandra's a good woman. Albert is a good man. Yeah, it's time out. I know the meeting here is very inappropriate. I also know that what I'm about to say next is even more inappropriate. But I'm going to have you. Really? Really. This connection I have for you, I have never felt for any other woman. And that is why I know I am going to have you. And it may not be today. It may not be tomorrow or next year. But you will be mine. <laughs> well, I don't know if you are medicated or conceited, or maybe you're just that sure of yourself. I would go with C. Well, I'm flattered, minister. But if you're suggesting what I think you're suggesting, then that's just not an option for me. I hear you. I hear you. us this morning yes. all right yes. you know i'm so encouraged because i see some familiar faces from first baptist here today thank you all so much for coming to be with me yes. and to share this wonderful new place of ours new beginnings yes. but a lot of dr cannon's philosophies and teachings are still here so it's a big part of my my background i can't can't abandon that yes. you know he didn't abandon me right, right. Yes. so happy to see all of you here this morning with your bright faces and your lovely smiles 
Many of you know changes have been made here. A lot of changes are being made here in First Baptist. But just know that the Word of God never changes. Yes, the faces have changed, but it's the fiber. Uh huh. Let the church say fiber, fiber that makes up this church of change. Now, some of y'all are looking at Pastor like you're confused, but I know you know what fiber is. You get it in, 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 your, in your oatmeal, you get it in your shredded wheat. So you see, the fiber, the faith, and our resolve makes change. Now, and now sister, sister, do me a favor now. Oh, hold on. Be, don't be disrespectful. This is not time for testimony, so I need you to sit down, sister. No, you sit down. Okay. okay. Now, uh, church, hold on, church. Hold on, church. Hold on, church. We are still in God's house. We are still in God's house now. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No. We, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We are still in God's house. And you're going to respect God in God's house. I'm still the pastor in this church. I am still the pastor of this church. time for some real talk. And if you don't want to hear some real talk, you can go now. I'll wait. That's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. It's all right. Pastor Roberts, it's going to be all right. Y'all want to walk with me? Huh? Y'all want to walk with me? church to the next level if you walk with me. You want to walk with me? Will you 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 walk with me? Mr. Williams, I need you to get out of that chair and walk with me. I know you haven't walked in many years. I can't do it. For the name of mighty God, I need you to get up out that chair and walk around. Yes, you can. How we do, sweetheart? Um, total offering? $162. Oh. Well, uh, that's pretty good. Well, I'm not gonna be able to keep the doors open. Well, we've still got some trust fund money left, don't we? No, it's gone. I've already checked with four different banks. And we don't qualify for a loan. I just got another job. Honey, you already have three jobs. It's okay. It's okay. Okay? Because it's gonna work itself out. Then you see all the people from First Baptist. 
Huh? Cassandra told me about uh, Dr. Cannon and the bishop. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Hun, do you... Do you think we left too soon? No. Listen. What we're doing is God's plan for us, okay? He's gonna see us through it. It's 10.30 at night. Where are you going? Church business. Oh, give me 15 minutes. I I'll get dressed. You're not going. Who's it this time, Elsie? How old is this one? Sundays and enjoy the life that I provide for you and you can't even do that I don't even know the shell of a person that's standing in front of me right now you got the nerve to ask me where I'm going question what I am doing Why don't you just go and throw up or something? Do that. I love you. I know. Does that not mean anything? I made another mistake. I'm sorry. Guess it's just my way. I know that you love me So who am I to question? Who am I to beg? Better left unsaid that you know that I love you But I just can't keep my head straight I keep thinking This morning in a 1997 Buick, knowing good and damn well that they just purchased a $130,000 BMW 76. You know who you are, so it's not necessary to point you out. If you're holding out on the church, you're holding out on God. Need help with that? Hey, LC. You know, we need to talk about expansion. Expansion? You, you want to add on to this church? It's time for you to be on TV like um, Creflo or Fred K. Price. Oh, are you serious? Look, you are on that level. It's time for you and me to make some real money for us. And this church. I 
spent some time on the Divinity Network. You will be broadcasting live this Sunday. You are serious. Are you ready for that? Oh my God, yes. Oh my, my breath. Come on. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> So God woke me this morning and said, Pastor Lawrence Case Jr., I need you to get our message out to more people. Mm -hmm. really? Really? Okay. Then he said, you need to be on TV. Wow. Seeing that I'm not one to question God's will, I'm here to tell you today, brothers and sisters, that the first Baptist Church of Christ is going worldwide. I told you I was real. I told you I was real. Amen. Amen. I told you I'd take it to the next level. That's good. I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you. What is all of this? You mean the TV crew? You know what I mean. You didn't consult me or any of the board members. I am the chair, and I made the call, okay? No, it's not okay. You're turning this church into a circus with that, that clown. Look, you think it's a small term. Do you know how much money we're about to make? It is not about money. It's about integrity, dignity, and respect. When's the last time you cashed a respect check? I'm gonna ask you. Would you sacrifice your children? Look at your children in here. Look at them. Those of you at home, look at your children. Look at them! Look at your children. Would you give your child up, your only child up? Would you sacrifice them? Would you? Come on. Come on. Make it plain. Make it plain. Yeah. 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 Ms. Brown. How old is your baby? She's two months. Two months. Two months. Too much. Too much. Woo! Hallelujah! 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 Would you give up your only child? Would you sacrifice your only child? For Mrs. Stevens, wow. because I know you don't particularly care for her. Would you do that? No, I know you wouldn't do that. No, you wouldn't do it. But God did. God sacrificed the child for you and you. Take camera two. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. God, 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 I am not worthy. I am not worthy to be your humble servant. I feel love. I feel love. I feel your love. But I also feel your tremendous loss. I'm not worthy. <laughs> Home run, Lord. Home run. <laughs> Minister. Thank you, sir. Just when you think it can't get any better, it does. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Mr. Wilson. Um, thank you very much. You at home, Daddy? Yeah. Okay. Take care. Good talk. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much. Good morning. Uh, my husband and I have a bit of sad news for you all this morning.
Who is it? Hi. Uh, do you know how much longer? Sandra, I'm busy. What do you want? I'll see. We need to talk. I'll see. What do you want, Cassandra? I want my husband back. You reek. I'm sorry? You reek. I reek? The whole room smells like vomit. You've been throwing up again? No, yes. I have not been. Yes. No, I haven't. I don't need to talk. What's that for? This is all that should matter to you. So why don't you take it and go do what you do? Go shopping. I don't want to shop. I want my husband back. Is everything okay, sir? Sir? How's the list coming? There's a small problem. Nobody wants to give up their seat, sir. Okay, what, what about Miss Bell? Minister, I, I didn't call Miss Bell because I kind of feel bad calling her. I didn't call her. I'm gonna ask you again, what about Miss Bell? What about her? Minister, Miss Bell is a good person. She's been here for years. I asked you to do something. I need you to do it. Do you understand me? The doctor has me taking these pills for depression. And I just want to thank the Lord for finally 
finding medication that really works. <laughs> and uh, I feel human again. Amen. And I just want to thank you, Jesus. I just want to thank you, Jesus. to be praised. Hallelujah. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? No. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. What? You are right because you are not right with God. I can't believe you would thank Jesus for some pills. You're depressed because you're weak. You're depressed because you're not right with God. LC, LC, this is her testimony. Pastor LC, did anybody see Deaconess Carter's name on the program this morning? The answer would be no. So with all due respect, Deaconess Carter, would you please sit down? Give me this. What is this? You don't need any lithium. Amen. 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 You don't need Viking it. Amen. You don't need it. You don't need it. Hallelujah. 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 God is all you need. How's it going? Have you seen these? to know is last week's telecast received the highest ratings in the history of this network. You know, his whole message has changed. He's become so mean-spirited. You know, publicly humiliating people. What is your excuse, America? No more excuses! No more excuses! No more excuses! Oh, praise God. I'm so glad y'all with me today. Thank you. So glad y'all with me today. Hey, Mike, how are you? I appreciate you. I appreciate it. Could you stand up for me, please? Okay. Stand up for me, please. <sighs> Praise God. Michael, what is your excuse? I can't think of nothing right now, sir. Well, well. Amen. Are you sure? Tell him, Michael. Yeah, Pastor, I'm sure. Just tell him, Michael. All right. Kira, where are you, sweetheart? I'm here, Pastor. Oh, there you go. How are you doing? You're looking good, baby. How are you? Can you get those babies to stand up, please? Yeah. Hey, Amen. Michael, I'm going to ask you again. What's your excuse? What's your excuse? Pastor, I understand what you're doing right now. I don't really... Michael, what is your excuse for not paying child support? What is your excuse 
for not playing an active role in these beautiful little girls' lives. Huh? Amen. Hold on. I want to know what your excuse is for coming to this church, sitting behind your baby's mama, bringing this stray, this stray in the house of the Lord. I want to know what your excuse is for being half of a man. You know what? I gotta take this. Let's go, baby. You can run, Michael. Whatever. Let him go. You can run. You can run, Michael. You can run. You can run, Michael. You can run. You can't hide. Oh, Jesus. God is everywhere. Forgive me. Now this whole thing is broadcast on live TV. The sad part is everybody's going crazy. They love it. They love it. Rollins, did you hear that? Mm. And I told you we should have watched the show. Listen to this. You really need to come to church. I'm good. Praise the Lord. Uh, the Baptist Convention will take place in Atlanta next week. Attending will be our choir director, uh, Sister Evelyn Roberts. All right, got off on a bad foot with you. Chemistry. You know what? You're a fraud and an insult to this church. I gotta tell you, it's so great. Amen. Really, Amen. seriously, it's yeah. so great mm -hmm. to see all the new faces. Mm -hmm. So blessed. Mm -hmm. And Amen. some old. Oh. You see, the Lord knows who the haters are. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 So if you want to hate on me, because I'm smarter than you. Because I'm better than you. Because I'm stronger than you. And because I'm more patient than you. I'll pray for you. Y'all ready for this sermon today? Man, I think I broke my glasses in that one, man. This Holy Spirit broke my glasses. Maybe oh, hold on. <laughs> hey, you like that one? Oh, my gosh. Man, I love you so much. I appreciate you so much. Please come back. Great service today. Man, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I need you to find Cassandra for me, and uh, we'll go uh, around and get my car. Which car are you driving today, sir? Which car am I driving? Which car am I driving? CLS. 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 I need you to find a CLS for me. And Copy that. Got appreciate it. that. Praise God. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hey, love. Hey, I'm gonna pray for you, man. You gonna pray for me? You gonna pray for me? Now I'm gonna pray for you. What you mean you gonna pray for me? Come on, pray for you. You gonna pray for me? You in here acting a fool, law? Why did you all right? come here? How you gonna front on me in front of all these people? We front on to be brothers. We all brothers. You left. You gonna come back here and try to judge me, hate on me? What is this about hate money? On you? No, I don't need your money. It's about money. All right, I came back here because I thought you needed some help. Yeah. I wanted to see if it was true, all the things I was hearing about you. But you're lost, no, man. Oh, you're oh, lost. Is that it? Oh, that's the best you can do? You know what? I'm sorry I came. I'm sorry I came. I definitely did not expect to see the devil at work. It's about money. I tell you what, Shirley, why don't you take this? Your hands off. He needs the money. Who take the money. Are you? I don't think I have to answer that. As a matter of fact, when I'm thinking about it, Maybe you should have been dating me instead of this underachiever right here. You know what? No, no, stop, stop. Hey, hey. What are you doing, Claire? What are you doing, the boy? Stop. What do you want to do? Get out of my truck. Stop it. We are in Get out of my truck. Joey? Hi, Nish. You have to just tell him to stop sending all these flowers and get out of the truck. <laughs> I have to be honest, um, I don't understand. I, 
I thought you knew who was your secret admirer. I know who the secret admirer is, and I just... I... You're the secret admirer. I mean, you've been sending me all the flowers and all the messages, and... What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing, it's sweet. I know my approach might be a little different. I, I was just afraid you you would reject me. No, I would never, never reject you. I'm, I'm honored. I, I mean, I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm just, I, I just. Uh, say you'll go out with me. Uh, I mean, I really have to think about it. Will you think about it? And maybe call me? Yeah, I'll, I'll think about it. Take care, Joy. I miss. You know, Joy has a crush on me. Is that right? Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, he's been sending me flowers, and he's been texting me, and the whole time I thought it was you. You thought it was me? Yeah. Sending you flowers? Well, he said it was from a secret admirer, so I just assumed it was you. Because I wanted it to be you. Oh, well. You know what? <clears throat> I gotta go. from Cassandra in two days. I mean, that's it's not like her. Well, didn't she go to the Baptist convention? No, I know for a fact she did not go. But maybe you're worried about nothing. Okay.
we're gonna have a baby. Me that question, who's is it? Wow, okay. Nish. My sweet Nish, I cannot have kids. Huh? I have been trying to impregnate my wife for years. And the doctors have told me that I have an extremely low sperm count, so I'm practically sterile. So I think we need to take a look at your other partners. I don't have any other partners. Don't, you don't have lie to me! Partners. Why are you reacting like that? I am having a baby. This is your baby. Why are you, is this money? What? This is Joey's. You, it's Joey's doing this. Is this Joey's? Joey! Huh? Joey! This is money. You want money? This is about Joey. money. This is about money? Joey! Huh? <laughs> Our baby. Please. Shut up, shut up, shut up. You tell anybody and I will bury you, you hear me? Apparently, longtime church member Marlon Gifford had some sort of a disagreement with Minister Case. At least that's what we're hearing from other church members. That's when she showed up at the First Baptist Church with a large hunting knife. Now, what you're about to see here may be a little too graphic for the younger viewers, so parental discretion is advised. Take a look. You told me to pray, Festus. What's wrong, Mom? You said that prayer would work. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I can't even function. Do. You told me to. You told me to get rid of those pills. You don't need them, Mother. You don't need those pills. You don't need them. Yes, I do. Just let me pray. Let me it pray. doesn't let me. work, stupid. Let me know. Let me pray with you. Maybe God didn't hear. God always listens to me. Always listens to me. Just follow. Just let me pray for you. Come on, just we try to close your eyes. Come on. Pray for closure. Okay. Drop it. I'll break it. I'll break it, man. You got him? Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Minister Case then was able to disarm and apprehend the deranged woman, and she was promptly arrested. That's crazy. Guess. How long has this been going on? <sighs> Elsie's been out of control for, I don't know, like six, no. six months or no. so. It's just... <sighs> what about you? Honey, you have an eating disorder. What? No, I don't have an eating disorder. Yes, you're either believing That's not fair, or Shirley. Belly. You know, I really hate it yeah. when you do yes. that. Nothing is wrong with me. Care about okay, you. you're doing it again. We can help you find somebody you know, who okay. specializes okay. in this kind of thing, which is cash. Yes, we're not... I'm keeping the baby. Nish. Let's think this through. If, if him were to find out that I was the father of this child, I would be over. Th this is about our, our baby, Lawrence. I would lose everything, Nish. Look, why are you being so selfish? What is this is all about you? No, no, no. It's not about me. It's about our child. Look, I'm begging you, Nish. If God wanted us to have this baby, he would want us to be married. I'm scared. I'm like... I'm going to call your father and inform him I will be leaving the church. Lawrence? Lawrence, don't cry. Baby, baby, don't cry. Yes. Listen, maybe we can move away. 
you know, we'll move, we'll, we'll go to a different city, we'll, we'll, we'll just, we'll raise our child. You can start another church. Like, you don't need them. We'll start another church. You're not being realistic. Your father's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. Why? My wife, she would divorce me, Nish. I don't care about your wife, okay? You don't love her. Do you love her? No. I know, I know. Stop I'm talking gonna, about her to me. Calm down, Nish. Okay, I don't know. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna type up my resignation, Nish. I love you, I love you so much. I love you too. Unless you believe me, if I told you that I want to marry you as soon as my, as soon as my divorce is filed, that's fine. I swear to God, I will marry you. You'll marry me? I gotta go, baby. I gotta go. Okay. Um. Okay. No. Yeah, 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 that's what I thought. Okay, well, you guys are set for next Sunday. Oh, sorry, cash only. Okay, okay. Excellent. Yes, that's the sermon right there, sir. This is excellent. Thank you. Paragraph form, just like you like it. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen now. I need a, a big favor from you. Oh, no problem, man. No, what, another sermon? I, I can write another one up, no problem. Yeah, no, no. I got myself in a lot into a little bit of a situation. Uh, Are you okay? No, no, I'm fine. I just need you to take a friend of mine to this clinic on Tuesday. And uh, here we go. Oh, this is great. Pastor, uh, this says it's about 70 miles away. Yeah, I know. I know. Clinic, wait, wait, wait. This is an abortion clinic. Yes. You want me to take someone to an abortion clinic? Is that what you ask? Hey, look, I trust you more than anyone in this church. No, no, you can trust me. You, it, it, it's just a lot at one time. Huh? I know. I, I, I really need you to do this for me. Who, who I'm taking? <laughs> Come here. I know how you feel about her, bro. I need you to do this for me. No. I can't do that. Come on. Hey, 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 Look, we need you back. There's a whole lot of disappointed members at that church. Well, as long as Elsie's there, I, I don't really see that as a possibility. When, when everyone saw you last week, the folks were generally excited to see you. Just come and be a guest speaker. Deaconess, it's Shirley. <laughs> were they excited to see us before or after the fight broke out? <laughs> Look, I don't think Elsie will ever go for that. Well, that's not his decision. I'm in charge of booking guest speakers. He'll do it. That man don't need that cane. Right? He don't need no cane. <laughs> man, I said, I don't know, people. <laughs> what you doing? You just locked my door. Yeah? I want to see you. You see me now? You know what I'm talking about. Mm. I want you inside of me. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Praise God. Just a minute. <clears throat> oh, yeah. 
Am I interrupting something? Oh, this. Oh, no, I was just leaving. You have lipstick on your face? Oh, no. No, Sister Roberts just kissed me on the cheek and enjoyed the sermon. This is your cheek. This is your lip. This is your cheek. This is your cheek. What is... Hey, 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 you just stop it. No, you stop. Stop it. A woman kissed me on my cheek. End of story. You understand me? When am I going? Tuesday. Where? It's about an hour from here. What time are you picking me up? I'm picking you up. What time are you picking me up? Yes. What time are you picking me up? Joey is taking you. You told Joey? I trust him. You told Joey? Let's just be reasonable. Reasonable? You're telling me that you are not taking me and you are asking me to be reasonable? This is your responsibility. Look, I'm really sorry that I didn't know you liked me. Don't sweat it. Are you mad at me? I'm not your man, and I, I don't have the right to be mad. Nothing wrong. Everything's cool. I was. Shut up. And sit your ass down before I knock you down. Hey, 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 Minister. How are you? Do you have a gun? Who do you think it is? Crazy. Why would you say that? That man. Let's go in. I'm scared. Not laughing now, huh, Casey? The way you laugh at my sermons on Sunday. Let me hear you laugh. Let me hear you laugh. Nurse! Stat! Roommate! Doctor. There's been a complication. There's a lot of blood loss. We're trying to help her regain consciousness. Regain consciousness? Yes. Now, she needs a transfusion, but she didn't put her blood type on the form. Do you know what it is? Mind if I get that? Yes, I do mind. Look, let me explain. Shut up! I just want to ask a few questions. Can, can I ask a few questions, Minister? Please? Evelyn, can I ask a few questions? How long has this been going on? Hmm? Oh, Pastor, that doesn't matter, man. Joey. Pastor. I got to call you back. I, I, I got to call you back. Doesn't matter. Really? Well, let's just see what the congregation has to say about that on Sunday, Pastor. You think you can turn? 
turn my congregation against me. Man, it's just my word against yours. Really? I'm sure this picture will help me. <laughs> Hello. Yeah? She's what? She's at a clinic, and we need to know her blood type. Where are you? We're, we're about an hour away. She's A positive. A positive? Uh, doctor! Doctor, she, she's A positive! Yes, 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 I'm my father. Sir, I need your consent for a transfusion. Yes, you have my permission. Give me back that, get, get, put him back on the phone. Yes, sir. Give me the directions. Right now. Let's go, Evelyn. Look at me. Just go straight home. You understand? Let's go. Hey, uh, Pastor Roberts. Can we, can, I just, can we just talk privately, man to man, for a moment, please? Please. Talk, minister. That is what you do best, right? Talk. <laughs> huh? Brother Wilkes, I, I can explain. I can explain. I can explain. I can explain. Okay. Oh dear God, take it out on me. Don't take it. Take it out on me. Not good. What? There were complications. She lost a lot of blood. Oh my God. Can I give her any more blood? Um, we couldn't because we didn't know her blood type, so I had to call her father. You what? I tried to call you, but you kept hanging up on me. You called Brother Wilkes? Look, I had to. What? What did you say to him? I told him that she had a procedure and there were complications. Did you say anything about me? Not yet. What do you mean, not yet? I'm going to have to tell him the truth. Hey, hold it, Joey. Just uh, hold it. Let's uh, just think this through. Uh, uh, Pastor, she's dying. She's dying in there from aborting your child. Hey, look, look, we don't know if this is my child for starters. What? Are you serious? Joey. Joey, calm down. If I, if I give you, if I give you, uh, if I give you uh, $10,000 tomorrow, will you have my back on this one? I just... Pastor, I didn't want to, I didn't want to take her here in the first place. Listen, 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 listen. It says, uh, and Luke, Luke. Uh, Luke 22. Uh, 32, but I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. And when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. Hello? Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Honey, let me get that for you. Come on, you need help. Hey, hey. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got no, it. you're on the wrong button. <laughs> 
burning up. You here. are. You're sweating. And you are shaking like a leaf. Lean back. Hey. Yeah. Don't worry, okay? Don't be nervous. You are gonna be amazing, okay? You're gonna be great. Thank you. I don't want him to preach, and that's final. Did you forget how this church is run? You don't dictate anything around here. I can have you replaced in two seconds. Oh, you really don't want to open that can of worms now, do you? This is my church. No, this is the church we allow you to speak in. I have quadrupled the money that comes into this church. I have the highest rated ministry on television. Without me, this church would be nothing. What are you scared of, Elsie? Huh? Are you scared that Roland just might upstage you? <laughs> You're good. <laughs> You're real good. But are, are you serious? Dead serious. You know what, Deaconess? I'll let him preach. <laughs> You'll let him preach. Okay. And one more thing, Case. Yeah, what? If you ever physically touch me again, I know people that will hurt you. That's my brother, Joey. How you doing, man? Heard you been looking for me. Yes, Joe, I have. My Joey. Joey, I... I really, really appreciate you not saying anything. Sure, sure appreciate you. She, I heard she's gonna be okay. Yeah. Thank God. Just come on, take it. I don't want that money. I'll just hold on a minute here. All right? If you walk out that door, you just keep on walking. You are no longer welcome at this church and leave my keys on my desk. What do you think you think about this? I could have taken you places, Joey. You come with me. Come with me. Take it. I pray to God I'm not going to places you're going. You keep that. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, just hold on a minute. If you ever say anything, if you ever say anything, no one is gonna ever believe you. You hear me? Joey! Good morning, church. 
I said, good morning, church. Good morning. We have a special guest this morning, a young man who's been here with us for about 15 years and went off to start his own church, praise God. We want to welcome him back, him and his lovely wife. I want the church to give him a big First Baptist welcome for Pastor Roland Braxton. Come on up, Pastor. I'm uh, truly blessed to be here this morning. Mm -hmm. When I agreed to come back and uh, preach here today, it, it led me to reflect on uh, all the things that have transpired in, in me and my beautiful wife Shirley's life since we've been away. And uh, now I can truly say that uh, <laughs> I, I know now what it's like to struggle. But I wasn't always in that place of humility and unselfishness. I was arrogant. I was brash. I was impatient. I was... I had my own ideas of what I should be doing. In Proverbs, it says that men may know wisdom and instruction, understand words of insight, Receive instruction in wise dealing, righteousness, justice, and equity. The wise man also may hear and increase in learning, and the man of understanding acquire skill. It's just one of the many lessons I've learned. Come on, I need you to step down now. Come on. The Bible also says, man is bowed down. And men are brought low. But the Lord of hosts is exalted in justice. Yeah. And the holy God shows himself holy in righteousness. He will raise a signal. He will raise a signal for a nation afar off and whistle for it to the ends of the earth. None is weary. None stumbles. Amen. Amen. Wasn't that wonderful? Short and sweet. Just like I like it. We want to thank Pastor Roland for his sermon today. And uh, <laughs> and I was moved by the reception of this church for a man who quite frankly turned his back on us and walked away. From this church, we made it seem that he was off doing the Lord's work. But that wasn't the case. He wanted his own church. He wanted his own identity. And he couldn't achieve the identity in the shadows of Dr. Cannon. So he turned his back on all of us in this church, set out on his own path, designed by the devil himself. So now he comes back with his beautiful wife, crawling back like a prodigal son, coming to save the house and its riches. You know the story. And sit your ass down. Sit down, Roll. Your knees are dirty. If God was truly on your side, it would have succeeded. Amen. But it failed. Yeah. He failed. You failed. He's a loser. Wow. He's an imposter disguised as a pastor. You can't be sincere if you can't be an under shepherd. A true under shepherd. If your heart is filled with ego and greed, Roland. So God is so good. <laughs> God is so good. Yeah, 
God is so good. Some of you uh, have heard about Nish Wilkes being ill, and uh, God sent some of his finest angels. But he wasn't done with you. He wasn't but we're done, done with you. We could talk about this after service. As I was saying, God is there even when you think he is. We want the truth. God, can you please escort Brother Wilkes out my church? Young man, I am the chairman of the board of directors of this church. And I know you know who runs this church. You're done, Elsie. Now li listen, listen. Tell him, Elsie. If you have one ounce of decency left in you, tell them. Tell them what? You tell them the truth about how you use my daughter. Hold on, hold, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. I know we got cameras in here, but wait one minute, wait one minute. The truth about your daughter getting pregnant by a member of this church? About her terminating one of God's children. The truth, you want the truth, y'all. Give me the truth, Brother Wilkes. The truth is that my assistant Joey is the father of that terminated baby, and that's why he is not here today. So, yes, you want the truth about your daughter? The truth is, your daughter is a whore. No. 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 Want to talk about free will? Let's have it. Son, I told you that you were no longer welcome in this church. My house. The minister is lying. As God is my witness, Minister Case impregnated Nish. Wait. I've given you everything. And you want to stand here and defame me and my character. You know I am a married man. <laughs> I drove a young woman that you got pregnant to an abortion clinic where she almost died. And then he asked me to say that I was the father. And I almost did. You almost did. <laughs> Y'all finish? There's cameras in here. And God is my witness. I don't know what kind of reality show is going on in here, Brother Wilkes. Mm. I'm going to pray for you. This young man is bitter because I let him go. People, please, please don't be fooled by this well-orchestrated opera. Roll the tape. Clinic. Wait, wait, wait. This is an abortion clinic. Yes. Who am I taking? This? Yes. I want to see you. I see you now. I want you inside. Oh, you told you. This is your responsibility. Come on, turn this off. Turn it off. Bring it It's over. You're telling me that you're not cheeking me and you are asking me to be reasonable. Turn it off. Turn it off. Look, I'm human. I'm human. The story of Reverend Lawrence Case should not be considered to be an indictment of the black church, but rather an indictment of man. Greed, corruption, infidelity, tax evasion, sex, deceit, all can and do rear their ugly heads in virtually every facet of our society. 
from politics to countries at war to marriages and, yes, even to the pulpit. They are but a few of the infinite frailties that define us as a people. A footnote. Reverend Lawrence Case is now serving time for what many are calling the most significant tax evasion case of the decade. And while he may be locked up, he continues to do what he does best, and that is preach. With good behavior, he is expected to be released in the summer of 2015. For hindsight, I'm Mike Rollins. Good night and Godspeed. Only on some real shit.